Um, well, I think I'm going to start it all. I My apologies. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to um, get the hang of this. Yeah. So good morning everyone. Um, it's, a, it's a real honour to be able to, to speak to you all. Um, Paddy O'Connell is my name and I'm from Cullahill in County Leash and I own um, Paddy O's Granola. Um, just so everyone is clear, like some people, lots of people ask me, well people ask me every day what granola is. So the simple explanation is that granola is like a toasted muesli. So last year we sold about 90,000 units of this product. Um, this, um, this year we're on course to sell about 120,000 units of um, patios. I, I, um, and I started making it in our pub in Cullahill and with a 60 euro investment. So uh, patios um, prides itself on offering a choice. So when you're in a shop and you're wondering um, why you should buy patios as opposed to something else, as another granola, we would um, want you or we'd want you to ask yourself, do you want to eat less sugar? And um, do you want to support an Irish business? And um, do you know currently what's in the breakfast cereal you eat? And do you want to save money on your dentist bills into the future? So. Um, we are, we're a little more expensive than other granolas on the market, but um, we're kind of encouraging people to rather to spend a little bit more now to, to save into the future. So the kind of the first, um, the first heartbeat of patios was in Cullahill um, when I started making the product. And the first kind of breath of life that was in, in, brought into the brand was a local man in our pub um, who bought a packet of patios and um, he'd never eaten granola before and I don't think he ever ate it since but he kept on buying <laughs> just to support you know? so um, what I found when I was selling it in the pub that the kind of optimum time to sell was about 1.30 a.m. on a Saturday morning <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of it opened what it really did was open a, an umbrella of local support um, and the power of kind of local buying um, for the product so immediately um, phone calls came in from local people, emails, local shops wanted to get involved. So with, with a, um, a little idea, people are just encouraged to buy. Um, so from that starting point, um, we now supply Tesco Ireland. We supply uh, Dunn Stores, Musgrave Group, the Super Value Centre, um, some Daybreak Stores, uh, lots of um, uh, small, uh, lots of... Um, independent stores also and um, Palace Foods will be our food service customer, LaRousse Foods, Dairyland Cuisine and last week we um, got our first purchase order from the UK. So um, just getting back to the branding, um, our ambition um, with the product when I started making it first was to have the largest granola brand in Ireland and the UK and um, to make customers confident in their choice and to offer a choice and to make people think about what they're putting into their bodies. Um, what, we, what we were thinking at the time was we wanted to make, um, I, I keep saying we, but I wanted to make a, a large commitment to the brand and to really get serious about it. And I wanted to be compared against the best cereal products, best granola products on the market. And um, I really, I wanted to achieve more shelf space in international or in, um, kind of national um, <coughs> accounts and we wanted to lead I wanted to lead in the world. and that, that's um, and that's kind of why I went to um, brand union uh, I went to a number of different companies but um, I um, got on very well with brand union I knew that they have done some quality brands and I was just um, very enthusiastic to work with them and only after only after kind of our initial number of meetings so um, Thanks, Paddy. Um, <coughs> towards the end to keep to try and keep time timing sort of on track. Um, if you can leave questions until the end of the presentations, thank you. Okay. Good morning. Um, my name is Sarah McGuire, and I work for um, the Brand Union in Dublin. And I've left little books around the room. Um, you might have got one on your chair. If you didn't get one and you'd like one, I have plenty more, so just uh, let me know and I can give you one. So um, this is Paddy's product, which you've probably seen before. Um, and this is us, this is Brand Union. Um, so just a little very brief bit about us. We are a team of about 18 people. 
um, a combination, probably about 50-50 of strategists and designers. So we put equal importance on both sides of, of that. Um, and that's some of the people there. Um, um, but we're not just in Dublin, we're actually a global agency. So we have over 20 offices around the world, um, which is a, a great thing to have. We have global reach because we can talk to all of those offices, understand markets in other countries, get information from them. And we work very closely with some of the offices as well, in particular London, which is our head office. These are some of the brands that we've worked on. Most of them you should recognize. Um, we've put lots of passion into every one of these and we're very, very proud of all of them. But I'm not here to talk about those today. I'm here to talk about Paddy. And that's Paddy, and he was a little worried about this picture going up on a huge screen. Your phone does not <laughs> So Paddy came to us with a challenge. And when we first met Paddy, he had a piece of research with him, which he had done with the help of Board Bia. And this piece of research was a fantastic starting point for us. It gave us loads of information about the granola category, about Paddy's brand in particular, how consumers shop that category, and how people were responding to Paddy's product. It also highlighted some of the very key challenges that the brand was facing, particularly as Paddy was looking to grow the brand. Um, this is what Paddy's product looked like at the time that he spoke to us and this packaging had served him really well up to this point but because he was looking to move into more than one product the brand was proving to struggle to stretch for him so that's why he came to us. Some of the key challenges that were highlighted as part of the, the research and also things that Paddy was just very aware of was that he had a great brand story to tell and a huge amount of passion, energy and fun in himself that just was not communicated on pack and was such a key part of the brand to help differentiate him. The brand mark was not working hard enough in that sense to sell his passion um, and the standout on shelf was poor so it really needed to be improved. His packaging just didn't fit to his positioning which at the time was sporty, energetic and uh, passionate and fun I think. Um, and also a really key challenge was he was moving from one skew to six skews. So when we first met Paddy, we, we did a lot of uh, writing briefs and writing proposals and working things out. Um, but ultimately, having given him back a return brief, which is something we do on all projects to make sure that it's clear we understand what Paddy has asked us to do. And we also outline what we believe would be the recommended approach for this particular product. Um, we also got to know Paddy and really find out what makes them tick and this is a really key part for us in working on any project is to understand the brand understand the people behind the brand so we spent a bit of time with paddy just to really get to know him and um, thankfully i didn't have to do that on a surfboard or anything sporty like that because i wouldn't be a very sporty person myself okay so the first thing that we do is really immerse ourselves in the brand um, and we call this the discover phase so really understanding everything that we can before we start looking at the creative. So in reviewing the brand, we analyse Paddy's brand, the competitor set as well, both here and in the UK. Um, and then we look at benchmarks in category, other granola products in other countries, but also out of, ca out of category, because there are a lot of learnings to gain for particular challenges that we know we're facing with, with this brand. And then we would present back to Paddy our key learnings and opportunities, which would form the creative brief then for the, the design. So Paddy's brand, um, I'm not going to get into a huge amount of detail about this, just to say that we do a very, very immersive process, which takes time and we feel that it's as important as the creative phase. Um, so we would have gone into depth on the st strengths and weaknesses of Paddy's brand. Um, and also his other touch points, so his social media, his website um, and events, everything that the brand touches. And really importantly, we look at it on shelf as well, um, in a number of different locations to make sure we understand how it's performing in the place that it sits most of the, most of the time. We also would have looked at key competitors, so Republic of Ireland and UK, but we also looked at the US as well with the help of our New York office. Um, because granola is quite a new-ish category really in Ireland, but it's very established in America, so we felt that there was important learnings we could gain there. 
and we knew Paddy was looking to move into granola bars as well, so we started to look at that category as well. Um, so each of the key competitors, again, we would have gone into depth on these with strengths and weaknesses. This was one that is, well, is one of Paddy's main um, competitors, and this is what that would look like. We're looking at everything here, colour, performance of the brand mark, the pack format, um, and all of the other touch points for the brand as well. So we would have done that for all of the key competitors and formed our learnings from those. And benchmarks as well. So the, as I said, some of these were American granola products that we felt we had something to learn from. But we also looked at um, drinks, brands, um, all other categories to find learning on brands that do personality well or do tone of voice well, things that we felt would be key to Paddy's brand. Um, and then we also knew that we needed to think about the pack format. So the product had been in a bag which was performing okay but there were some issues with it on shelf. So we started to look for things that would be a bit more innovative, something that would be functionally very good for granola, um, but something that would actually say something about the brand and give better standout on shelf against the other competitors. And as we're doing that we're looking for ideas for Paddy, so um, some new product development ideas that were in or around the granola category, but also thinking about out of category things that might be interesting, um, portion control, single serves, um, that kind of thing. Okay, so the key learnings that we found was that the on-shelf presence was poor. So the colour was recessive, the bag was reflective, so under the lights you couldn't read it, the bag was collapsing when, when uh, the the retailer was trying to stack them and the brand was actually disappearing, it was actually folding back. The brand name was another key challenge which had come up in the research as well. It was a little hard to say, there was a lot of punctuation in there and it was a little limiting as well because really granola was built into the master brand which meant that it was difficult then for Paddy to move into other products. And the brand experience. We felt that the experience of Paddy and his passion just wasn't really fitting with the pack that was appearing on shelf and it could sell him a lot harder and differentiate him more. We felt there was opportunity for some personality and fun in the category. It is a, a health conscious category um, and tends to be quite wholesome and serious. And it wasn't that we wanted to take the seriousness out of Paddy's product because food is a very serious business but we felt that there was a chance for him to be a little different, a little quirky. Um, and two things that were really important in the category that we saw producers, some of them were doing health very well, some of them were doing taste very well, and we felt that really Paddy needed to do both of those really well in his pack. Um, some learnings from benchmarks, be consistent in the application of your brand, be ownable and be unique. Um, you don't have to reinvent yourself every time you come up with a new product. Actually, just stamping the same brand elements that are recognised as yours on each pack holds the brand together. Um, the category you felt could work harder on consumer education as well. Um, the usage occasions for granola, um, portion control and product benefits were somewhere on the pack, but they weren't very evident on the front of, of the pack. And know your consumers, so bring them along with you on your journey at all touch points. Okay, so, so from that, we presented that back to Patty, and we also had some key insights with him. Um, and we did some more work on his brand strategy and his brand wheel to, to finalise and know exactly where we were going with the creative. So this is his brand wheel. Um, this reflects everything that we know about the brand, his values, his personality and the benefits, the reasons to believe in this product, what makes us different, his vision. But the most important thing really at the centre, his essence. So we changed his essence at this point in, in, the, in the process to getting the most out of life because we felt that's what Paddy does. He's energetic, he's into sport and everything that he does, he's passionate about. Um, so he really does get the most out of life and the product will help you do that as well. So. <laughs> so, as Patty gets redder and redder through the floor, you're, you're hidden behind grass there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a tricky shot to get. <laughs> um, another really core thing was the name change. So he had been Paddy's O Granola, 
and we advised that really at this point we should change the brand to Palios and granola then was the product category. So this would allow Paddy to stretch the brand. Also easier to remember and easier to say. So, into the creative process. Getting the most out of life became our leaping point then for the creative, that was our creative platform. So we came up with three different ideas based on that, which you can see here. So it's all about you. So Paddy is the brand, so we put him at the heart of the idea. <coughs> oh, the places you can go, which I think is a Dr. Zeus quote. Um, and that was about where this brand can take you to the top of a mountain and you have Paddy's product with you. Or living life to the full. All the time. So it's all about you. You are the brand. Your brand's name is your name, Paddy. Your story is unique and it's all about you. So this is, I'm just going to sort of, I'm giving you a taster of some of the creative work that we did as part of the initial process. So this also had a format that was a tube, so it would be pourable and the lid could do a portion control for you. And then little granola shots, little mini versions of it. Oh, the places you can go, and you'll recognise this one, and there'll be no surprise when I tell you which direction we went. Um, so this was about guilt-free fuel, you need to get the most out of life, it can take you to the top of the world and back again. And the idea here was to express very specific stories about Paddy on each pack as well, so telling it through different sports that he's passionate about. And then living life to the full. So this was about not so much the sport itself, but um, everything that goes with it. So friends coming together, having to crack the pints, food, shared experiences. So everything that goes around that. Um, and the idea here was to use a milk <coughs> carton idea. And each pack had a different sport, again, sort of expressed in a different way. Real energy and a bit of quirky fun. Um, and something that would really stand out in the category. When we presented these to Patty, we wondered, well, how, how are we going to help them? How are we going to know which is the right direction to go in? So what we do is we establish an um, evaluation criteria. And this is based on what we set out at the beginning to achieve in the, in the brief. So these were the, the points that we asked Paddy to consider when he reviewed the, the concepts. I think the most important one, or not, not the most important one, but for Paddy at the, at the bottom, the last one there, the excitement to pursue. And this brand is so about him and so involved in him, but it was so important that, that he just felt like, yeah, that feels like me and that is the direction I should go in. So from those, no surprise, it was, oh, the places you can go that we selected as the thing that felt most like Paddy. And you can see in the competitive set, it was, it was doing a few things to really disrupt that category and stand out. Um, clean, simple, striking, uh, much brighter colour. And uh, we felt that it was a strong direction to move forward in. So, why it works. The first thing we did was change the format. So this was based on the idea of the milk carton. Paddy had the idea that granola actually tastes better when it's cold. Yeah. So why not put it in the fridge alongside the milk that you're going to put on your granola? It also meant that it had better stand out on shelf and when we moved into from one skew of the granola to three skews you would get a much bigger block on shelf and much stronger stand out. We put a window in because we knew from, from um, our first phase of work that visibility of the product was really important in this category um, and also we made that window circular for the O in patios, so it wasn't arbitrary, it was actually connected to the brand idea. We strengthened Paddy's brand, Mark, and we put it on a slight angle to disrupt it, but also so that we could get the size up on it. Um, it's a very bold font, it's got some texture in it, the idea is to really sort of capture Paddy and his passion and his energy in that. And critically, we put Paddy right at the centre of his brand, Mark, he is actually in the brand, Mark and it changes from pack to pack, so it has a nice flexibility um, as we tell other stories and move into other products, we can tell more about Paddy as we go. Because the pack is predominantly white and we have a very dark contrasting brand mark, we've got really good standout on shelf, but it also meant that we have space to really colour code strongly for each flavour variation and to tell a different story. So this, the core pack, which tells the surfing story using um, the blue on pack, 
and we tell this story right around 360 all the way around the pack so each pack has a little different thing to, to, to tell you. Um, and now the product descriptor is still very visible on pack but is no longer built into the master brand to give us that flexibility in developing the brand moving forwards and it links to the colour coding again. The language here as well, delicious toasted Irish oat cereal. We felt we really needed to still keep that very visible on the front of pack. And the fact that this is, as Paddy said, it is an Irish product to choose when you shop that category. And they are um, the best Irish oats. And then tone of voice and personality, again, coming through in the language on the, on the pack. So each pack tells literally a little story about Paddy. Um, this one being about the surf and the, 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 the waves, um, the energy is high, that feeling, the smell of the sea. Um, so Paddy's granola gives him the energy I need to get the most out of life. So we also were putting the brand essence literally on the front of the pack. And something that very few people in the category were doing, we created a really clear, iconic system on the front to tell about the nutritional benefits of the product. So then we were able to really strongly build this brand into more than one SKU, using really strong, attractive colours to, to represent the different flavours and tell the surfing, the, the, the walking story, the cycling story. Um, and then also building that story right around the whole pack. So this pack is all about surfing and it tells that story. It encourages consumers to contact Paddy, tell their stories as well. Um, and we built that idea into every single thing on the pack, including the barcode. And it had a little secret hidden gem. So after you bought it and you've taken your granola out of the box, through the window, there's a little map inside. And if you open out the box, it is a map related to that story. So this pack talks about walking or running up the Colour Hill Mountain, which your grandmother used to do. And um, she walks, okay. <laughs> but we're, we're, we've got more energy, so we're going to run it. Um, so it is a, a map, and um, it was you're encouraged to use the little window to take a photo and then upload the photo back to Paddy um, to show that you had achieved Cullah Hill Mountain or whatever walk you wanted to do. So it, it's just something that I think is really important in brands like this that. There's always a chance to do something interesting under the pack or maybe where somebody hasn't actually looked if you really unfold it that there's a little secret surprise. Um, and then we had created such a strong brand for Paddy and, and a brand kit if you like of elements that no matter what product he does now or what he produces with his brand when we apply those elements it's distinctly recognisable as Paddy. So his new products of the granola bars link directly to the flavours of the bars and tie, tie the whole thing together. Something that we do with all um, product products that we work on, we do a small set of guidelines to give to, in this case, Paddy. Um, and this is his, his kit. So this is all about his brand and how to work with it. So he can work with other people to apply that to um, trade show stands or whatever it is that he wants to do, his car, which he's going to do at some point, I'm sure. Um, and this gives all the information he needs. And this, this is a really important and key element for him. And this shows Paddy and his brand getting the most out of life. Um, and it's, it's fantastic to see the brand rolling out and getting such good response. And Paddy's so good at social media and um, really getting the brand out there. And he just never stops working. He, he amazes. He's up since 2 o'clock this morning. So that's a little bit about our process and how we arrived at Paddy's brand. Um, I think um, the, the last thing I would say is that brand is such an important thing um, it is a long term investment and it's something that's really worth spending time on so that we get it right and that's what we believe at, at the brand union that it is really worth putting the time and effort in to get it right because if you get it right you won't have to touch it again for another 10 years so um, I hope that uh, I've given you a good sense of what it was like working on Paddy's brand and I'm going to pass back over to Paddy now so that he can tell you the impact of the new brand. Um, when, we were, when I was in the process of rebranding a competition 
and came up that I, uh, that looked really attractive. It was for 150,000 euro of outdoor advertising, and I thought, what a great way to to launch a new brand. So, um, 216 companies went for it, and we came out on top, and um, we won that fund. But I think why, what no, what are it? Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, this wouldn't have happened without the the new without the new branding. Um, Three hundred seventy thousand people saw the new branding. The sales in the in the first month of the new branding and advertising were equivalent to the previous three. Um, one in one in three people said they would. One in three people that saw the advertising um, said that they they said that they would buy the product. <laughs> they, and they thought it looked really exciting, and um, and like kind of a contemporary Irish brand was really what came out of it. And I just like to say, kind of working with Brand Union, um, it, they were just so professional. Um, they um, they it, the process took eight months, so it takes a kind of a, a long time to get from to start to finish. Um, they develop um, new products, like give you new ideas constantly of what you could bring out. Um, new packaging concepts, creativity is just astronomical the, the minute you walk in the door. So um, we're going to hopefully start working on a new, a new project soon. So um, I'm a big advocate of Brand Union, uh, of brand union and um, would highly recommend them. Thank you very much, Bill. We have about... Um Well, that, that was the that was the increase in sales um, from the first month that I went out. For seven or eight minutes for Q and A, so please. Just wondering, consumers generally um, don't give feedback, especially good feedback. I believe it's, it's usually always things that are wrong. But how did you get any response to the stories? People sending you stories, probably. Um, it's stories about um, their own stories about walking up the hill and doing. Yeah, well, that, they, they take it. Yeah, I, well. Um, what we do, we send out a free box yeah. to someone if they take a picture through that, through or oh, bring the packaging with them, take a picture through it, and send it to us. We'll send them a free box. Yeah. So just encouragement all the time, and you hear stories, or like you get um, feedback on Facebook <coughs> and, and Twitter and constantly. And sometimes too much. <laughs> I don't know, not at all. You, you just get a massive amount of feedback, um, both good and bad. So more so good. Why granola? Why did you start with granola? Um, I, I, I spent a summer in, in Hawaii, just a J1 summer, having it every day, and then um, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get one in Ireland that I liked. And I um, started making it when um, I bought the pub and selling it during um, college, and selling it to my lecturers and students, and then got into the Oregon Farmers Market. and. It, it avoided me having to come home and work in the pub at home. <laughs> so um, I love the product, and I still love it. I still eat it every day, and um, you know I'm delighted that chose Granola. <laughs> <laughs> um, how were easy was it, or what? How did you figure out the financial? How where did you get the money to pay for the work that would be involved in producing a fabulous? new presentation of your product, I mean, because it seems to me that you've gotten a really a fab fabulous uh, uh, bit of work done for you, but I'm sure it wasn't cheap. I would, well, every, every, um, obviously it costs, a hell, it costs a hell of a lot of money, but you, you can actually, and it did take me back when I heard what it's going to cost, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, you know, I, the, um, the, I got a, I, every year that I was in business, I worked on AIB Bank. It, it? <laughs> <laughs> it cost all, all, all in all, it cost about twenty thousand. Oh, no. you got a good value there. So I'd, say, good I'd value. say, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, oh, help. <laughs> <laughs> I want it, but I can't afford it. I mean, I, I'm just saying. That's why I'm asking. I got, I got a bank. I got a, I got a bank loan. Oh, okay. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it was worth. So it's simple as that. So it's worth it in the end. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Have you been able to evaluate how long you've designed the paper? Yeah. Um, the well, the, well, just for from getting from getting the new branding, 
we started in, in all the major retailers. So, and the sales, we've kind of, um, we've grown by 60, we've grown by, the, um, last year we grew by 60%, the year before that we grew by 70%. So, and this year we expect to grow by 60 again. So, don't have the exact kind of benefit. What sort of, what sort of uh, time scale do you, do you think is a desirable time this will be effective for? Does there come a point in time where people go, there's more zipsy packaging on that bag there? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, I think when we work on a brand, the, the core of the brand we feel should last at least 10 years before you have to start looking at, at like a Pagas Master brand, let's say. The actual packaging of the, the product it's it, you know you do, you don't know what else in the in the category is going to move or shift or change, but we would like to think that Paddy won't have to to change it for at least five years, and then you know you have to look at what changes have happened in the market, what products Paddy is looking to introduce, how much um, shelf space he's looking to take with other products. So there's different there's different things, but really if you do it really well, which we do. Um, his brand, he shouldn't have to touch it for a long time. And the other thing about it is, if, if it's done well and it's done properly, when he does look to introduce new products, they won't be as expensive for him to design because all of the brand elements are there. We already have a sense of where it will go and we've made sure that the brand is able to give him the, the ability to add products without so having to change. So evolution's built into yeah. it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It would be all about the taste as well. But we initially you need brand to get the brand out there. But as soon as you get the taste, yeah. Well, that's what it's in. in I started off selling it in farmers markets. So I see Mary Team. We started off selling in the same kind of farmers market. So the taste was always was there from the start, and that's the you know it's it's hugely important. But um, you need to have a real strong presence on shelf to to shift it from the shelf, you know, because you just can't be everywhere selling it. So um, I tried to, be, but uh, it, it can't. But the, the, this packaging will stay like this for a long time after that investment. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, thank you very much to Sarah and to Patty for sharing that story. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.